today I'm bringing you guys some confirmed Black Ops 2 um, stuff for you guys today. And I just was watching the live stream. The live stream is still going on right now. But um, I gotta get going here soon uh, up to the cabin. So that means I'm gonna probably get some GoPro videos for you guys. I'm not quite sure though yet. But anyways, um, let's get into the stuff. Now, here, here's what I thought, is that there's a skills competition was just like the league play in Black Ops 2, so um, I think David Vonderhaar on Twitter has been changing his like emblem thing between like all sorts of stuff that is your ranks in Black Ops 2. So... Um, and basically what the league play is based on your skill level. If you're a horrible COD player, you're going to be matched up with other horrible COD players. If you're like an MLG pro COD player, you're going to be matched up with ML other MLG pros. And if you're an average COD player like me, you're going to be av matched up against average players. Now, I don't think the whole this whole thing is... Uh, I, I don't think the whole... It's not going to be a skills-based level thing in um, in Black Ops 2 because otherwise I'd just ruin uh, my skill level if that was if that was that. Okay, and here's what I thought was interesting the most is COD casting, and what that basically is is that you can basically live. I think it's live stream right from your Xbox, and you can be any. You, you can be a pretty much anyone can be a commentator in this game, a sh uh, shoutcaster. Which, for example, Hastro it was shoutcasting with David Vonderhaar and. Uh, I think Vaughn was it on there, um, but I, I thought that that was pretty cool. And they have like the scoreboard features. Let me look through my notes real quick. They have like the scoreboard features. They have um, nameplate features, which is like giving a number on their back is what they described it. Uh, you can you can have the audience look at the map so you see where all the gunfights are happening and where everything is and then there's also a listen in feature where you can hear the team's communication which I think that is really cool now I did and that's like some of the eSports features that they are uh, including in this game and I and I figured out that some of the guns can be adjusted from a three round burst and fully auto I think that is really cool I've been actually kind of wanted that in Marvel for 3, but uh, now we're going to have it in Black Ops 2 because that is actually pretty uh, realistic because, you know, in that M16 in real life, it's fully automatic, 3 on burst, or single fire. It's the same with the M4A1, but it's only like, the M16's only 3 on burst in Marvel for 3, and the M4 is like fully automatic, but... The truth is, in real life, is that those guns can be switched between single f single fire, three on burst, and fully auto. So that's that was one thing I saw. Multi TDM. Now, what it is supposed to be is three team. Um, I mean, four teams of three players on each team. So twelve men, twelve men. So, you know, I think that w that's going to be really cool um, and stuff. You know, the 10, I think other people have talked about it, 10-point class setup. So, I saw I saw when it, they went into Domination game, someone had five perks, no equipment, no secondary, and just a primary with, like, I, I don't know, I think two attachments. So... So, you know, he has five perks, the uh, six for the weapon, and probably, like, two attachments. So, like, nine... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what that would be, but it's ten-point class setup. So, you don't even have to have a primary weapon. You can go, like, all six perks and, like, no primary weapon at all. So, I think, I think that's pretty cool. And some of the new game types, uh, that's on one of the... 
the multi TDM is actually one of the new game types. Uh, another new game type is the hard hard points game type. And hard points is uh, if you have ever played Halo before, uh, hard points is exactly pretty much exactly like King of the Hill. So I think that King of the Hill is a pretty cool is pretty cool so um it, it's it's actually a pretty good game type so i i don't i don't know about how that's gonna work if it's gonna be my favorite but i think i like how they put king of the hill and they should have um put king of the hill in at the beginning of call of duty um some of the maps cargo turbine aftermath and basically what cargo is is like a cargo it's a port in Singapore, which is, has a bunch of cargo crates on it, and there's like some crane that moves a bunch of cargo crates everywhere. So I thought that was pretty cool. Turbine, a uh, little desert area with a little uh, with wind windmills, I think. I, I I'm trying to describe it as best I can. And, and then aftermath, downtown LA, uh, when it's like like completely destroyed so there are the maps for you guys I'm gonna go through some of the equipment and um, basically the bouncing Betty uh, that's supposed to be back and it's actually supposed to be throwable in, in this game so um, that's actually pretty good uh, the MMS uh, is supposedly that's supposed to seek out campers if you aim down your sights you can look at you can see where the campers are um, there's a laser pointer attachment, which is I, th I think there was a really good. I'm not I'm not sure if this is true here, but I I think there's a UAV counter UAV combo. I don't I don't think that's true, but they said something about he's calling in a UAV counter UAV combo. And it's like uh, I don't know how that's that's gonna work. Um, target I think target finder. Target oh yeah target finder is supposed to be like an uh, a red dot site but it's supposed to have them as a diamond it's supposed to have them as a diamond as um a, a, like a like whatever the chopper gunners were like the chopper gunner like how they had a diamond around their body you know if you aim down sight with that attachment on you'll see a diamond around their body and I think that's pretty cool because I play on a really large TV and uh, sometimes it's hard to see from a long distance away the death machine um it is its own kill streak now, so you don't have to earn it from a care package. It's its own kill streak, and like in Black Ops, you would lose it if you if you died. Now here's the thing: you don't lose it until it runs out of bullets. You can die as many times as you want, pull out the death machine, and you'll still have wh how whatever how many bullets had in it left. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Tomahawk supposed to be back. Um, I think one of the kill streaks is a lightning strike, and I think that's an air strike. So um, I don't think in the in the live stream we weren't seeing that much, but that's because you know these are the greatest players in the world, and you're not going to see them running like high kill streaks and stuff. Some of the perks I saw, um, ghost. But here's the thing about ghost: you have to be in a motion in order to in order to stay off the radar if you if you're camping in a corner you're not you're gonna be on radar okay that it's not gonna work scavenger dead silence lightweight extreme conditioning and remember you can have more than three perks as the that's how the 10 point class setup works so there you have it guys there's some black ops information for you guys and I will see you guys and I hope you enjoyed the video I will see you guys later bye